had a great question today in the Articulate Storyline forums regarding the timeline and why there are some situations when you cannot reduce the duration of the timeline past a certain point. And there are other situations where you can. Well, the reason that that happens is that there's an object or maybe multiple objects on your slide that are a fixed duration. And those are controlling how short you can make your timeline. Like in this example, I've got these three objects and you can see them down here in the timeline as well. And if I happen to click and drag on the end point of my slide timeline here, see how I can make this as long as I want to. The duration can be you know, as long as I want to make it. But if I try to shrink the duration up, I cannot move this end point past a certain point. It's looking like it's stopping at about five and a quarter seconds. Well, the reason why is because there's an object on the slide that is set to display for five and a quarter seconds. It happens to be the triangle right here. And the reason that I know that is because the triangle object is the only thing on the timeline that doesn't have a little arrow at the far right end. See how the oval and the rectangle do right down here at the end of their object on the timeline, There's, you're seeing that little arrow. Well, that arrow is telling Storyline, go ahead and display this object for as long as the slide duration lasts. The triangle, on the other hand, is really set to display for a very fixed amount of time. In this case, it's five and a quarter seconds. So that's why I can make the timeline longer. You know, that's fine because the triangle is set to disappear at five and a quarter seconds. But if I try to make it shorter, it's just not going to let me go any further. So if this is happening to you and you want to shorten up your duration of your timeline, what you can do is look for any objects that don't have that arrow at the far right edge of the timeline object. And then you can right click on that item and select show until end. It's probably going to be, you know, an object that maybe you played with the duration at some point. Maybe you, you know, clicked and dragged it a little bit in or something like that. And when that happens, that arrow goes away and, you know, you're telling Storyline, keep this object on the screen for as long as I, you know, have set here in the timeline. But you can just right click and say show until end and it'll bring that little arrow back and it'll extend that object all the way across to whatever the duration of the timeline currently is on the slide. And now I can shrink this to be, you know, as short as I want to or as long as I want to. And it's not going to restrict me from doing that. Um, another little tip is that you can multi select objects on your slide by doing a control click. And you can change that setting for multiple items at the same time. Like I've just, you know, control clicked and selected these two. Now I can right click on one of them and I can mark or unmark show until end. So see how the arrow goes away on both of them or I can put it back and now it's back for you know all three objects. So that's just a quick tip that hopefully will help you if you're having trouble um, shortening your timeline. Um, that might be something that you can check.